We begin with that breaking news in the Bronx where a crane came crashing down on a car. Now it happened in the Grand Concourse section. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor, the scene with the very latest. Alice. Chris and Mary, we are actually right next to the car and the crane. Let's go ahead and show you. That's the silver car in question right there. The crane sitting on top of it. You know, police say there was a 22 year old female driver sitting there. She suffered minor injuries. Let's go ahead and show you that crane attached to the boom truck there. It came apart. It was working on that building under construction right there at 33 Bedford Park Boulevard. Now you can see if my photographer, uh, Sean, pans down, it took down a street lamp as well. And you could see the rebar that that crane was carrying in the road over here. Now it happened around 1040 this morning. The fire department says a boom truck collapsed onto the roadway, crushing the car as you just saw. Police do say it was a 22 year old woman in the driver's side of that car with minor injuries. The fire department evacuated about 29 workers from the site out of a precaution pending a Department of Buildings evaluation. EMS did treat and transport one patient to St. Barnabas Hospital. We presume it's the driver, but we are awaiting confirmation on that. Now, as for the Department of Buildings, they say inspectors are responding to the scene. Again, they're not making any attempts to move the car or that crane right now. We've got FDNY on scene, everyone looking around to make sure things are secure before they go doing any work here. Again, this is Bedford Park Boulevard and cars. Sean, I don't know if you could walk with me over here and show underneath this overpass, uh, overpass here, cars are being diverted. So if you are driving in the area, do be aware of this. Once again, we are along Bedford Park Boulevard. We have a crane on top of a car, that driver suffering minor injuries at this time. As we get more information, as always, we will keep you updated. In the Bronx, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.